In this tutorial, I just wanted to talk about the ref error in Excel, what it is, why you might get it, and how you can fix it. So the ref error in Excel is just basically Excel's way of saying that it can't find what you are referring to and typically occurs whenever you're working with data and delete some data or you delete a column or delete a row. And Excel is then trying to refer to a row or a column or some data that's just no longer there anymore. So in this example, I have cookie sale data. And there was a revenue column, but I deleted it, which is causing the formula in profit to ref out. As you can see, it can't find the revenue column anymore, which makes it to where, again, this revenue column is now is now a ref because the column is no longer there. And then the values in the profit column are also ref. Now they can't find it, what it's referring to. So the easiest way, if possible, to fix this is to control Z to get your data back um, after you deleted it. As you can see, if I control Z a few times, revenue columns comes back. And now Excel knows what I'm referring to. I know that's not possible in all situations, but if possible, just try to control Z and get your data back. Or if you have to go back to an older version and redo some of the calcs that you have done. Now, if that is not possible, one thing that one thing that you can do, it, one thing that you can do is to change these cells that it that is being referred to. So let's just say I didn't do, let's say this wasn't a sum if of revenue, but it was sum if of, call it units sold, for example. So sum if of the same criteria. And then the sum range. Then units sold right here. I have to lock my stuff down a little bit with the F4 key, Alt H and N, so it doesn't look so weird. And as you can see, there's my unit sold, unit sold, revenue, revenue for cookie, total revenue, I can hit revenue per cookie, move with an average, if take the average revenue per cookie, so you get the range, same criteria and the average range but the point of this is just basically saying that it is basically saying that if you can change what the cells being is being referred to or if you can change some of the calculations that you're doing then that can fix the ref error that can fix the ref error so you can see unit sold average revenue per cookie and I can get back to revenue, and I, and I can go, I can re some calcs and get back to the revenue number that I had, and then go through and get the um, cost and profit numbers from there too. Um, but if you change the cells that the performer is, is referring to, reduce some calcs, then that could also fix the error. Now, another thing that you can do that you can try is to nest your function in an if error. So if, all the if error does is saying, hey, this is an error, error, then return this. So we can say, if it will, if this returns an error, then return, I don't know, 20. And as you can see, it, 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 because it's an error, the ref error, it, it's returning 20 instead. Um, this isn't necessarily per, a, a perfect solution, because if, it, especially in the case of a ref error, because it, because it can make it much more difficult for you to actually trace exactly what was going on, where the numbers came from, especially if there's a ref in your formula somewhere. But it can be helpful at times to make your formulas a bit more robust. Um, that's, it, that's it. I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.